So, where does the JT Millick story start? Well, the story, um, I started remembering stories that my grandfather would tell me about Uncle John, and uh, he was John Millick. He and his family immigrated to the States from Germany. They settled right here on, the, on this ridge on a high piece of ground in South Louisiana in the late 1870s. On this particular farm, we had some freshwater marsh, and they started growing rice somewhere around 1896. You know, rice is part of our heritage, it's part of what we do. You know, my family's been here for four generations, but I'm just one of those people, I'm always looking, you know, what's next? We're sitting around one day and trying to figure out what we could do with our rice crop. That's where it really started for us. You know, the price of rice had fallen into a situation where it was just not gonna be profitable to plant that year. And we started asking the question, what else can we do with this stuff? How can we add value to it? And somebody said, I wonder if you can make vodka with it. There happened to be a craft distillers conference. I immediately signed up for it, booked an airplane ticket, and uh, flew to the conference. And I, I was as green as you can be. I, I didn't know a thing about it. And I kept asking people, what, what do you know about rice? And everybody kept saying, never heard of rice, don't know. And I started to realize, Wow, no one in America makes any spirit out of rice. So that led me to trying to find a distiller who was already in business, she already had equipment. I literally brought my rice over there and we started experimenting. We were tasting nine different recipes and finally he says, what, what's your favorite drink? I said, it's a martini. He made a martini and I, I took the first sip and uh, it was unbelievable. Surreal, amazing, whatever adjective you want to put on it, you know, to, to say that, you know, wow, we, ju we just made this out of our rice. And then, of course, I also realized that uh, there's no such thing as a rice whiskey really on the planet. There's no commercially successful brand that's done that. I'm obsessively authentic. So everything we do has to be real. I, I, I can't fake it. We could have released this whiskey probably two years ago, and it was good enough. I don't want it to be good enough. I, I want it to be the best it can be. Uh, we have to be patient, because it, be, it has to be right. We produced our brand to be the iconic Louisiana brand. I mean, if you look at our bottle, there's a crawfish on the bottle. The name is just to make it authentic to us, but you know, we wanted to produce an authentic Louisiana brand. Now, I don't mean to sound cliche, but that literally, you know, we're sharing what we have directly with you. There's the barrels, they're right behind me. We produced them right here, so there you go.